Hey guys, it's Jen from Generator74 and I thought I would do a quick little tutorial on how to make a um, little gift card holder that I came up with um, for the craft fairs that I've been doing. So the first thing that I did was I cut down a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock um, down to it's 5 inches um, wide and then honestly I've just been um, trimming it from there like after I fold it. So you want to score it um, first at three inches and then again at three and a half from there so that your middle section is three and a half by five and then um, just fold it along the score lines and then so this will be the top flap so you can just decide how long you want it um, I've been making it go down to about here which I can tell you what that measurement is from the three and a half um, it is about two and three quarters from that last score line. So um, from here to here is three inches, from here to here is three and a half, and from here to here is two and three quarters. And then like I said, it's five inches um, wide. And then save this little snippet of paper because that's what we're going to use to make our pocket for the card. Um, so you want to fold it up and use your bone folder to deepen that crease and then I've been using my corner rounder corner chomper um, just depends on my mood which setting I use um, I'm just going to use the half inch corner setting on this one so I just round all the corners it just gives it a more finished look and then you're going to want to take this piece that you cut off so it's already the right um, width. So you just want to make it a little bit shorter. So I would make it about, I would say two and a half. Do two and a quarter. You know what? I changed it. Do a two because I think that would be good for like a regular gift card. Um, and then I've been using, this is my oval, my Marvy punch. And then I just put a notch here at the top to give it a more finished edge. And then I'm using the red sticky tape because it's a lot stronger than regular adhesive. And then you just run that along the three edges. It's funny because I um, made a few of these like the night before my last craft fair and just thinking, okay, you know, I doubt this will sell or whatever. I'll just make a few just to see. And I only made four of them and all four sold. And I had people asking for more. And I had other types of gift card holders. But for some reason, um, the simplest ones were the ones that people really were interested in. And it wasn't because they were really that much cheaper. These, I think, I sold for like two bucks a piece. And the, like, really... Um, intricate ones that I had decorated um, I was selling at my regular card price which is three dollars so I don't know I mean I did pretty well at my craft fair I have another one coming up on the 14th of December and that's what I'm making this stuff for so then um, just make sure that you have it going the right way and then just line it up. I go a little bit above this crease here for the fold just so that there's room for it. 
to uh, bend. So then you have your pocket, and we'll, we'll decorate that so it'll stand out more. So then I've just been using an old 6x6 six six, um, pad that I'm trying to use up. And I, I'm not... I'm not big on measuring, so I just do this. I just put it roughly where I think I need it to be trimmed, and then I trim it. So that's five inches wide, and basically I'm like trimming it around four and three quarters, which makes sense because then you have a nice edge, a border. So I just trim it down that way and I'll save this piece because that's what we'll use to decorate the inside. So I'm only using one 6x6 six six sheet of paper per um, holder, so that's why I'm trimming it this way. And then um, so this piece is for here, so you need to remember to round your corners. Um, I just round the edge that I had the pencil mark on, that way I don't have to erase it. Because <laughs> I'm lazy like that. And then just put your adhesive on. Line it up so you have a border here. My stomach's growling. My husband just went out to get us breakfast at Sunday morning here, so. I guess he didn't feel like cooking. He does most of the cooking. And I think maybe we might be out of eggs or something. That's probably why he's not making anything. Okay, and then we have to trim um, around these corners as well. Put some adhesive on here. And it's, you know, I usually spend a lot more time on my projects, but for all the more that I'm selling these for, and if people were going to buy them, I mean, I can sit here and do this all day, <laughs> you know, whatever. So then this piece, same thing, I would trim it at four and three quarters. And then this piece, I don't um, round the corners. I just stick it here in the center. And I'm running out of adhesive, which is always good to do when you're doing a video. And I just um, center it here, and it just draws attention. Now, you could um, ink these edges before you put that piece on. And on some of them I did that with, but this one I'm not going to. I'll just cut like a little piece of cardstock the size of a gift card, and I'll just stick it in there so that people can see. And then as far as the closure goes, I've just been using these little Velcro um, circles. So I put the two pieces together and then peel it off the paper and put it roughly in the middle here and make sure it's adhered good. And then peel, oh boy. Peel that. That way this end is sticky and then just whenever you close it, just press there and it'll adhere it there. And then just as far as decoration, I mean you can decorate it any way that you want. I'm just going quick and easy. I just stamped Merry Christmas on an oval. And I'm just going to layer that on a um, scallop. Get a little piece of three-dimensional adhesive for the center of that. And then put that right here in the center. If I can, there we go. So then there you have it. It um, Velcro's open and then they can put their um, gift card in here and it does fit a gift card. I have one here but I don't want to put it on the video because it has obviously the number on it. Um, but I promise it will fit. It's good and roomy and that um, red tacky tape will definitely keep this pocket from popping up. So that's all I wanted to show you for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope everybody has a great week. Bye!